Let's check in with our Rod Maloney. He's covering two cases connected to the auto industry. Rod, what are you learning? Yeah, you know, Evrod, uh, we've been getting information over the past hour or so that has sort of ramped up this entire story. But let's start with taking a look behind me here. And you can see the Service Pro trucks here. Uh, they are here at the Warren Tech Center because they're in here doing deep cleaning and disinfecting that has been invoked by General Motors because this morning they did announce that they did have a, a confirmed case of coronavirus by one of the workers inside the, uh, the tech center. Now, let's give you the little detailed information about it. It is not the main building here at the tech center. It's gonna be the brown building just to the other side, which is known as the coal technical center. And uh, the, the person who has actually been tested positive for coronavirus worked in that building. But let's give you the uh, graphic here, the full screen to tell you exactly what we know about this person. It was a male and he tested positive, positive last night, but he had been working from home uh, because on Friday they invoked the work, uh, you know, away from your workplace uh, protocol. And so now the coronavirus cleaning and advisory protocol is in place. And one of the things they're doing is contacting the employees who work with this gentleman uh, to let them know that he had been exposed so that they can know whether or not they need to be tested. In the meantime, we also heard from Ford Motor Company. They had a similar situation. They're not saying whether it was a male or female, but they are saying that it was a person working in the engineering uh, center. It was Building 5, uh, which is on the uh, Ford uh, campus off of Oakwood, and uh, they too are doing their coronavirus cleaning advisory protocol and you know talking to people, cleaning up the office building. Um, and the one thing that they did tell us about this particular employee was that he had not been working uh, in the office, even though they went to the protocol on Friday. It turns out he had not been working prior to that because he was not feeling well. And so that's how the car companies right now have started telling us about their employees that have been testing positive. Uh, and of course, this is a global problem. J and Ford just this afternoon announced that they're going to be shutting down their production in Europe as a result of the coronavirus. But that has caused problems. And we did a piece yesterday about the fact that local auto workers are feeling very uncomfortable in the auto plants uh, about the fact that they're still in the plants uh, when uh, everybody else seems to be at home. And so one of the things that they're saying is that there's going to be a meeting tonight. The UAW wants the plants closed for a couple of weeks, and we'll certainly let you know how that goes uh, in the moments to come.